In this video, I will show you how to download, install and how to use QBitTorrent. This application is ad-free, means no advertisement, no pop-ups, no banners. It's also an open source, it's free to use, no need for license or activation. QBitTorrent is software that allows you to share or download torrent files. This includes applications, movies, books, games, and more from other people on the internet. Let's begin. Open your web browser and search for Qubit Torrent Download. Choose the first link which is from the official website. We will be redirected to the download page. Scroll down. We have the version for Windows, version for Mac OS and also version for Linux operating system. Since I'm running Windows 11 then I will choose Windows. Click Download Qubit Torrent. Scroll down. Choose the first link. Qubit Torrent Download for Windows 64-bit. You can choose different operating system based on where you want to install the application. You can also see the file size at the right. Click on it to download the executable file. Wait for it to finish downloading the executable file. Let's now check the downloaded file. We can manually go to Downloads folder or we can simply click on the folder icon and it will directly send us to the Downloads folder. Now, Let's install the application. Double click on the executable file. Choose your preferred language, we will set it to default which is English. Click OK to continue. Click Next to proceed. Accept the terms of the license agreement then click Next. Next is we will choose the components to install. I want to create shortcut on desktop so I will check that option. Also, I prefer to start QBitTorrent on Windows Startup so I will check that option. This option is very useful, if in case you are downloading something then you restart or shut down your computer. It will automatically resume the download once you turn on or the device has been rebooted. This is the advantages of using Torrent Downloader. It will automatically pause the download and resume after reboot. It will not start back to zero. Click Next to proceed. We are not going to change the installation folder so just click next. It will now proceed with the installation. Wait for it to finish the process. Notice the desktop icon that has been automatically created on desktop. Launch QBitTorrent is already checked so once we click finish, the application will automatically launch. Choose agree. We have now successfully installed the application. During the time of this recording, the latest version is 4.6.3. Let's check the features. We have the option to add torrent links. You can paste the torrent links then choose download to proceed. Next is the plus sign or add torrent file. Click on it then locate the torrent file, I will show how to add a torrent file later on. We also have the option to remove, resume and pause. Next is the options. Click on it and another window will pop up. Let's first check the behavior. Here, you can change the language. We also have the option to change the themes. The same goes with the icons. We can modify based on our preference. You can read and modify other features if you prefer. Scroll down to desktop. During the installation process, we enabled this start qubit torn on Windows startup. We have the option to change the Windows state on startup. The default it's normal. Every time the computer starts, you will see this Qubit Torrent window. We also have the option to start minimized. Every time the computer starts, Qubit Torrent will run minimized on the taskbar. The other option is hidden. Every time the computer starts, Qubit Torrent will run but you can only see on the system tray. It will also automatically check for new updates. You can check the other features and modify if you prefer. Next is the downloads. Display torrent contents and some options, I will show you this feature later on. Scroll down to default save path. By default, all downloaded files will be stored on the downloads folder. I personally modify this option. I store all my torrent files to different folder on drive D. Not on C drive. To change the storage path, click on the folder icon. Locate your preferred storage path for torrent files. For this demo, I created new folder on desktop and named it as downloads. 
I want to store all the torrent files in this folder. By default, QBitTorrent won't save the torrent files. If you want to save the torrent files for finished downloads, you can enable this option and choose your preferred storage folder. We can use the same folder so all of the torrent file and downloaded files will be stored on the same folder. This depends on your preference. You can also copy the torrent file, this will save the torrent file before it downloads the file. You can only choose one option, or else you have two torrent file. If you don't want to save the torrent files then disable these options. You can also check the other features and also the advanced settings, better leave it to default if you are not familiar with it. Click apply to save the changes. To download a torrent file. You can open your browser and search for torrent sites. If you click on download then you will be redirected to this Qubit Torrent app. If you downloaded the torrent file but Qubit Torrent did not launch then do this process. Right click on the torrent file. Hover your cursor to open with, tick choose another app. Scroll down. Tick choose app on your PC. You will be redirected to program files. Look for Qubit Torrent. Open the folder. Choose the QBitTorrent application then choose Open. If you click Always then QBitTorrent will be your default application for all torrent files. Choose Always. A new window will pop up. Under Save At, notice that it will be saved on Desktop Downloads folder because we changed it earlier on the Options settings. This is the default storage path for all the torrent downloads. At the right you can see the contents of the torrent file. Checked means selected for download. You can click on the arrow to expand and view all the content of the subfolder. You can tick select none then choose manually the files you want to include in the download. You can also tick all if you want to download all the content of the torrent file. You can uncheck the files you want to exclude from downloading. All these checked files will be downloaded and those unchecked will be excluded. Click OK to proceed. To expand the tab, you can hover your cursor to the small line until you see the opposite arrows then drag it to expand. You can see the torrent file name, this will be the folder name also after download. You can also see the file size. Next is the progress by percentage. Status which is currently downloading. Seeds refer to the number of people who have downloaded the torrent in full and are helping you download the files. Peers refer to the number of people who are in the process of downloading the torrent with you. You can also see the download speed. Next is the estimated time to complete the download. Alternative way to download a torrent file is by using the plus or add torrent file. Locate the torrent file then click open. It will be saved on the default storage path. You can choose the files you want to download then tick OK to proceed. To pause the download, Tick the file to select then choose the pause button. Notice the status changed to paused. To continue downloading the file, tick resume. Once it has been completed to download then the status will change to seating. You can go to seating tab to view the seating files. Go to completed tab to view completed downloads. Let's check the downloaded files. Let's open the downloads folder or the storage path. Here is the downloaded file. To delete a torrent file, tick on remove or right click then choose remove. If you tick also permanently delete then the downloaded file will also be deleted. If you just tick remove then only the torrent file from the app will be removed. Notice that the folder is still available. Now, we will check the option to permanent delete the files but first we will download the torrent file again. If you noticed, it went directly to seeding. This is because the file is still there or the file has been already downloaded. Now, let's tick the file then tick remove. Let's check also permanently delete the files. Tick remove. Notice that the torrent file from the app and also the downloaded file has been removed or deleted. Lastly, we will relaunch the application you can see that we are currently downloading a file. To exit the application, go to File, choose Exit. At first, a window will pop up. Some files are currently transferring. Are you sure you want to quit? Choose Always Yes so that you don't have to choose Yes every time you exit the application. 
Since we exit the application then we cannot find it on the taskbar or on the system tray. We need to launch the application again. We can use the desktop shortcut icon. Since we choose start hidden then we can check on the system tray. Click on it to open. Notice that it automatically resume the download. This is the advantages of using torrent downloader, unlike normal download, if the download process has been interrupted then you need to re-download again and it will start from zero. Well, that's all for today's demonstration and I really hope you like this video. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials. Thank you and see you in the next video.